Okay, this is a follow-on from our previous experiments. We have uh, random drips dropping on the array, virtual drips obviously, and where each drip lands, we're using a random colour from our palette. And we've started with three primary colours, red, green and blue, three secondary colours, magenta, cyan and uh, yellow, and then six tertiary colours. And that's forming a palette of 12 colours that we're using to randomly select to light the array. Uh, the difference this time is that we're using a fade effect. So whichever pixel we choose, we gradually fade up, we hold for a period of time, and we gradually fade down. Uh, and this fade at the minute is just fading from black to the colour and from the colour to black. But the clever thing is we're treating black as a colour. So the fade routine we're using will fade from one colour to another colour, it doesn't matter which colour. Uh, and the real tricky bit, of course, is we have to do it for the three channels. We have to split our colour into the red, green and blue components, fade each component individually, and then merge them back together to give us the full colour. Uh, and again, maybe not too exciting at the moment, but this is a start of things that we'll be developing in future experiments.